Welcome back to Linux Network. The Debian project has proudly announced the release and general availability of Debian 12.7, the latest ISO update for its widely respected Debian 12 bookworm. This release arrives just two months after the release of Debian 12.6, making it the sixth point release in the ongoing evolution of the Debian 12 series. However, it's worth noting that while this is technically the sixth point release, Debian 12.3 was never released, which is why it is often overlooked in the numerical sequence. Debian 12.7 continues to be powered by the Linux 6.1 LTS kernel series, which is a significant choice for the stability-focused Debian distribution. The Linux 6.1 kernel was first released in December 2022 and has since been selected as an LTS version, which means it will receive updates and support for the community until December 2026. This kernel choice underscores Debian commitment to providing a robust and reliable base for users, particularly those who prioritize stability and long-term support over cutting-edge futures. This latest release is more than just a minor update. It's an aggregation of all the software updates, security patches and bug fixes that have been available since the release of Debian 12.6. For those who plan to deploy Debian 12 Bookworm on new hardware, Debian 12.7 offers a fresh installation medium that is fully up-to-date. This is particularly advantageous as it eliminates the need to download potentially hundreds of updates from the repositories immediately after installation, a process that can be time-consuming and inconvenient for users with slower internet connections. In terms of specifics, the Debian 12.7 release incorporates a total of 55 security updates and 51 bug fixes for a wide variety of packages. These updates are crucial for maintaining the security and stability of the operating system as they address vulnerabilities and bugs that could potentially be exploited or cause issues in day-to-day -day operations. The Debian project's focus on security is one of the reasons why Debian is so widely respected in the server and enterprise environments, where reliability and security are paramount. But Debian 12.7 isn't just for new installations. Existing Debian users who haven't yet updated their system should do so as soon as possible. Updating to Debian 12.7 is a straightforward process that can be accomplished through a terminal emulator or virtual console using the appropriate commands. For those who prefer a graphical interface, the Synaptic Package Manager or another graphical package manager can be used to perform the update. It's important to know that this point release does not constitute a new version of Debian 12. It merely updates some of the packages included in the distribution. Therefore, there is no need to discard any existing Debian 12 bookworm installation media. After installing the operating system from an older version of the installation media, users can simply upgrade the installed packages to the current version using an up-to-date Debian mirror. For those who frequently install updates from security.debian.org, there may not be many packages left to update, as most of the security updates are included in the point release. This is one of the advantages of Debian rolling release model for security updates, which ensures that critical patches are made available to users as soon as they are ready, rather than waiting for a point release. In addition to the updates and fixes in Debian 12.7, the Debian project has also released Debian 11.11, .11, an updated installation media for Debian 11 Bullseye series. Like Debian 12.7, this release includes numerous updates, specifically 50 bug fixes and 27 security updates. This parallel release demonstrates the Debian project's ongoing commitment to maintaining and supporting multiple versions of their operating system, ensuring that users who are not yet ready to upgrade to Debian 12 still have access to a secure and stable system. The importance of staying up to date with these point releases cannot be overstated. Security updates are particularly critical as they protect against vulnerabilities that could be exploited by malicious actors. Bug fixes, on the other hand, improve the overall stability and performance of the system, addressing issues that could lead to crashes, data loss or other problems. By releasing updated installation media, the Debian project makes it easier for users to deploy new systems without having to worry about immediately applying a large number of updates. For users who boot multiple operating systems on the same hardware, particularly those who have secure boot enabled, there is an important consideration to keep in mind with Debian 12.7. This release includes Shim 15.8, which is a crucial component for systems that use secure boot. 
Shim is a small bootloader that is signed with a trusted certificate and can be used to bootstrap a Linux system while secure boot is enabled. However, Shim 15.8 revokes signature for older versions of Shim in the UEFI firmware. This means that other operating systems on the same hardware that are using a version of Shim prior to 15.8 may be unable to boot after the update. This could be particularly problematic for users who dual boot Windows and Debian or use other Linux distributions that have not yet updated their Shim to version 15.8 or later. To avoid this issue, affected users should temporarily disable Secure Boot before updating other operating systems. Once all systems are updated to a version of Shim that is compatible with 15.8, Secure Boot can be re-enabled. This is a necessary step to ensure that all operating systems on the hardware can continue to boot correctly while maintaining the security benefits of Secure Boot. For those looking to perform a fresh installation of Debian 12.7 or upgrade an existing installation, the Debian project provides new installation images that will soon be available at the regular locations. These images are designed to simplify the installation process, providing users with a fully up-to-date base system right from the start. This is particularly useful for systems that are deployed in environments where internet access is limited or where it's essential to minimize the time spent applying updates after installation. The process of upgrading an existing installation of Debian 12.7 can be achieved by pointing the package manager system at one of Debian's many HTTP mirrors. Debian mirrors are distributed around the world and provide users with access to the latest updates, ensuring that they can keep their system up to date regardless of their location. A comprehensive list of mirrors is available on the Debian website, making it easy for users to find a mirror that is geographically close to them for faster download speeds. All around, Debian 12.7 Bookworm is a significant point release that continues to build on the strength of Debian 12 series. With its comprehensive set of updates, security patches and bug fixes, it provides a stable and secure operating system for both new installations and existing systems. The inclusion of Linux 6.1 LTS kernel ensures long-term support and reliability, making it an ideal choice for users who require a dependable platform for their computing needs. As always, the Debian project commitment to security, stability and user freedom shines through its latest release, solidifying Debian's reputation as one of the most trusted and respected Linux distribution in the world. And as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.